Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Seo Senpai here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be doing an anime unboxing of the Tokyo Ghoul Collector's Edition. Um, just one thing I want to clarify real quick. A lot of people have, um, I've seen a lot of people express their concerns about the size of this set and they don't um, like the dimensions and they think um, it won't fit on their shelf or you know wherever they put their anime merchandise. Um, so I just actually wanted to do a bit of a comparison. This right here is the No Game No Life set, which um, is probably one of the biggest sets out there. Um, Sentai, they release a lot of stuff regularly, and um, they have quite a few sets that are this big. I think that Chunibyo set is this big, and then the Beyond the Boundary set is like this, and then... But I, I think they're... Uh, Knights of Sidonia, Parasite, and Akamega Kill sets are a little bit smaller than this. But anyways, this is pretty standard. So to be honest, if you're looking at this, it's really not that big of a stretch um, in terms of size. It'll fit fine on everyone's shelf. It looks fantastic, by the way. So if anyone's had any concerns about the size, just wanted to clear that up. It's really not that big of a deal. So yeah, enough of that. Let's get right into the unboxing. Get this out of the way. So, first up, this is the front, or I guess, I don't know which way is the front, but I'm going to assume this is. We have uh, Kaneki in his awakened form. Then it just says Tokyo Ghoul on the side. Then we have Rize right there. Looks like she just got done eating. And then Tokyo Ghoul again right here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then this actually just slides right off nice and painlessly so that comes right off so we can just set that to the side and then under that we have Kaneki white-haired Kaneki unawakened or I guess is it wait whatever it doesn't matter and then just uh, it's white right here uh, nothing right there then we have Rize again looks great this, this uh, box set is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Nothing on the bottom, nothing on the top. So, and then this slides off just like that. We'll get one more look at this. This is pretty legit. I love this box set. I've been waiting for this forever. It was actually supposed to come out in September and got delayed due to a production issue. Um, so now we're finally getting it five months later. So yeah, there's that. Then we have this, which comes right off. Then the back, Blu-ray and DVD, all 12 episodes. This is just the first season. And then all the extras, Kaneki in black and white, I'm guessing that's some kind of special, episode commentaries, Japanese commercials, promotional videos, yada yada yada, all the other good stuff. So, this is the Blu-ray and DVD encasing packaging. So we got Kaneki, Awakened, and Unawakened. I don't know, is Awakened when he's in Ghoul or when he has white hair? Whatever, not that big a deal. And then we have uh, Toka and Tsukiyama the gourmet and then right here we have let's see if that can focus we got the DVDs with some uh, white roses or whatever on them this is um, kind of pertaining to spoilers when uh, Kaneki is getting tortured and he has all those kind of in all those uh, hallucinations inside his head when he's talking to Rize and whatnot. So yeah, pretty cool. Why don't, there's actually something behind here, so why don't we get these discs, excuse me, discs off. Oh, come on, don't be a pain in the ass. There we go. Okay, so it looks like it's just Kaneki right there. Pretty awesome. Oh, you can't even see that yet. Discs in my hand. There we go. So that's pretty sweet. Get those back in. All right, come on. Give you one more look at Toka and Sukiyama. Front. 
and the back. There we go, pretty sweet. Then we have a Tokyo Ghoul art book. So a little, just a little teeny art book. This is Tokyo Ghoul art book right there. Tokyo Ghoul art book again. It's pretty sweet. This is actually what they use as the cover for the limited edition and just the standard Blu-ray. So that's pretty sweet. So why don't we pop this open? Some more flowers. Tokyo Ghoul art book. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Look at that. Sweet. Gorgeous art. I love hardcover art books. I love it when they come with uh, collector's editions and whatnot. It's just a great touch. And we got some more. and Tsukiyama. We got some interviews. It's always a good little extra. Right there. I don't know who's the, uh, with the director. This is an interview with the director. Uh, talks about the highlights of episodes one through three alongside the storyboards. Take note of where the director paid his attention. All right. Cool stuff. I'll definitely be reading that. Maybe he'll explain why he decided to butcher the manga. So that's actually a pretty decently long interview. Then we got some character concept art. Kaneki, Toka, Rize, Toka again, Hinami, Ryoko, Yuriko. And it looks like that's it for the art book. So yeah, nice little addition. Like I said, I love it when they add art books into collector's editions. Even though this one's kind of small, but they had to make it fit in the set. Either way, awesome. And then we have the extras box, which um, nothing special about the box itself. It's just got a little coffee cup because we know uh, ghouls can drink coffee. So yeah, just red box, blood red. So let's crack this sucker open. Oh, come on. All right. I did open this beforehand to get all the shrink wrap off and whatnot. So this is just what came on the back of the um, outside of the box. You know, just the description, synopsis, and all of that. I'm not going to read it this time because um, if you haven't been living in a third world country for the past like two years, year and a half. You should know what Tokyo Ghoul is right now. So, first up we got some uh, art cards. Kaneki. Uh, that's Toka's brother. I forget his name off the top of my head. And then, who is this? Uh, Uri? No? Uh, I forgot his name. Anyway, fangirls love him. And then we got Rize. So yeah, pretty cool art cards. Just four of them. But I don't know why they put Hinami's, or not Hinami. Toka's brother um, on there. I'm surprised they didn't put her instead, but whatever. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then we have uh, this is a like sketchbook or a journal. This is actually the book that Kaneki is helping uh, Hinami read, if I am correct. So, yeah, or at least. This is what it's based on, the sketchbook. So yeah, pretty cool. It looks great. I don't I don't think I'll use it, because um, obviously I don't want to ruin it with my terrible drawing skills, but great little extra. And then we have some kind of uh, flag or bandana or kind of like a fabric poster. So let's see that. Pretty sweet. We got... Uh, Kaneki in his ghoul form, in his little bartending suit. So uh, that's pretty cool. Nice little extra. I don't think I'll hang it up just because I don't want to ruin the fabric. Um, so I will just keep it tucked in its box for now. Maybe I'll find somewhere to put it up. Or... But who knows? Yeah, either way, awesome extra. So yeah, that is it for the Tokyo Ghoul Collector's Edition. Um, I didn't really get it for the extras, I got it for the box. 
Um, and the show itself, you know, the first season is does have its, um, you know, good points. Obviously, um, you know, it's one of those, you know, kind of mainstream shows nowadays. You know, a lot of people just really dislike it um, if you're, you know, kind of like a elitist, I guess. But, you know, the first season, um, for me at least, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Kaneki was a little annoying, um, you know, how scared he was of everything. But, you know, this box, this collector's edition is awesome. I absolutely love it. The way they put it together and everything, there's a bottom of it. Nothing special. So let's get this all put back together. So yeah, um, just a quick unboxing video. If uh, you watched all the way through, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just wanted to let people know that at 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing a room tour. A lot of people have been asking me. Just want to clarify that. Uh, Twitter will be in the description, my anime list. So yeah, if you want to head on over there, hit me up on you know Twitter if you want to chat or whatever, or add me on my anime list if you want to see what kind of taste I have, or you know just what I've watched in general. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I got a couple, like at least three more videos planned for this weekend and next week. Got some box sets of manga coming in, scored a good deal, so I'll be looking forward to those. Other than that, um, my Sustain the Industry video just went out two weeks ago. If you want to see um, what I picked up in terms of anime and manga, I'll link that in the uh, comments or description as well if you want to check that out. If you're, um, so if you're new here and you want to see what else I do, um, I'd really appreciate the support. Thanks for watching once again. This is Mr. Studio Senpai signing out, and I'll see you next time.